Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I haven't done a, a lab practice and I haven't uploaded anything on YouTube. But uh, after my Finland and London holiday, now we are going to practice another lab session. Uh, we are going to create IAM groups. So we are going to get a little bit familiar with uh, identity access management on AVS. And we are going to create IAM users work with IAM policies, work with IAM roles, instant profiles. So let's get started and learn a little bit more. I'm going to start the lab. Now we are in AVS console, in avs.amazon.com. And now I'm going to go to IAM, look for IAM in the services, and we are going to create a group now. So we are seeing many access limitations. Uh, we don't have all the accesses. And we are going to go to user groups. Now we are going to create another one. Create user group. Uh, user group name DevOps. We are going to attach permissions. Amazon EC2 read only. Let me search for it and click this one and create a group. Now the group is created. Now we are going to create IAM user. So let's go to users. Add a user. Username will be John. Provide user access to AVS management console. Auto-generated password. We can change this one to custom password and user must create a new password at next sign in and click on next we are going to add user to the group which we just created which is devops and then there are permissions boundary if you want to add user permission boundary to control the maximum permissions so we are not going to do that this is optional and click on next now this is edit and create user user created successfully. Now we are going to create access key for the IAM user. Let's go back to return to users list. And these are the users that we, John is the one that we just created. Click on John, go to security credentials. When you go down, you'll see create access key with command line interface i understand the above recommendation want to proceed meaning the purpose of this access key create access key and now description tag specify could not be added okay so this is the access key we just created we can now download the csv file to our computer so this is done it just says you haven't downloaded, so you, you make sure that you download it. Now we are going to create a customer generated policy with policy generator. Let's go to policies, create a policy. For service, let's select S3, action, access list, list all my buckets. Okay, now we can click next. Add tags, policy lab, create policy. Policy, we forgot the policy name. Policy lab, policy name is policy lab, and description is optional. We can add, we can add tag if you want, and create the policy. Now, policy is created. Now we are going to attach this policy to a user. Now we are going to learn how to attach a policy to a user. Again, we are going to go to select the policy, Amazon S3, read, read only access, select this one. Let's go to actions, attach. We are going to attach to Jeff and attach policy. Policy attached to identity Jeff. Now we are going to create IAM role. 
Let's go to roles. Select create a role. Avias service, Avias account, web identity. These are the options that we can create. We are going to create Avias service, EC2. And next, we are going to select Amazon S3 pool access. Amazon S3 this one Amazon S3 full access and next role name will be lab role and role is here prepared JSON code and create the role. Creating role. The lab role is created. Now we are going to be launching EC2 instance with IAM role. Let's go to EC2. Launch instances. First will be Amazon Linux, and this one will be. same let's select kernel 5 architecture will be same is this will be instance t2 micro key pair selection select the one that we have let's expand the advanced details i am instance profile lab role and then launch instance now we are going to be connecting the amazon virtual machine using ec2 instance connect let's click on the instance connect Now we are going to test IAM from EC2 Linux instance. So um, this is the code. I'm going to copy the code and write it here. Well, I am going to copy the other code as well. Not copying, just need to pass like this. Okay. I am dashboard on users. John, open CSV file. You downloaded it. I haven't saved it, which was a mistake. I'm going to copy this. because I don't have the access key right now, it's going to fail. Okay, that was it for today. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.